people i'm back with another video and today i'm going to be reviewing a cordless wireless rechargeable bling lamp that i found on amazon i do have this item listed in my amazon storefront along with a lot of other great deals that i find so i'm going to leave that link down in the description box below and anytime you guys want to know when i've added new items to my amazon storefront i do post on my youtube community tab so i'm also going to leave a link to my community tab down in the description box below as well but yeah y'all let's hop into this lamp i posted it and i got it for 32 dollars you guys and again it's a wireless cordless rechargeable bling lamp so um let's go ahead and get it on box it's from the brand castilla castilla so the box is pretty basic um on the side here it gives you the model of the lamp as well as the output and voltage and it's a 54 watt lamp so pretty strong this here just shows more about the brand casita or castilla castilla it says shine like a diamond okay and then on the other side it gives more information about the lamp sunshine harmless to eyes rechargeable 54 watts and it's a UV LED light it says it has 30 beads no dead zones um, sunshine nails large removable base and 5,000 hours of lifetime and it's automatic motion sensor so let's look at this unboxed you guys I'm just so excited for this lamp oh my gosh Yes, sir. You already ate them? You want more? Okay, I'll give you more. Ooh! Look how pretty this is. My daughter's here too, you guys. She. You want to sit right here? Yes. No, her, get that chair right there and sit. I know. Yes. Let me film real quick, y'all. I promise. Okay. So, yeah, y'all, look at this beauty, okay? Oh, she. Oh, this is absolutely gorgeous, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and take out everything else that comes in this box. So, it really just comes with the lamp and then it looks like the plate here. This here is the base of the lamp. So, this goes at the bottom. You do peel this off and then it's like a reflective, kind of like a mirror almost. I'm not going to peel it off just yet. Um, and then, this here is the instructions for the lamp. It tells you essentially how to use it. Um, so it has infrared sensor, digital display. What's cool about it is that it has a knob instead of buttons, so that's different. Um, it has a 30 second, 60 second, 90 second, 120 second low heat mode, and that's about it. Um, and this here is the adapter. Alrighty y'all, so this is how she is looking. How beautiful is she? First off, I absolutely love the design of this lamp. I love that it's like in a diamond shape, and then it's blinged out with diamonds, you know? Um, and so it's just a really sleek design. I'm going to show you guys the side of it. This here is what the side looks like. It has the on off button. Oh, there we go. Turns it on. On the back here, this is where you plug it in to charge it up. And then this is what the front of it looks like. This is underneath. Again, it said it had 30 beads in it. So it has a lot of LED lights in it. And then it also has these little foot stands here, which I think is really cool. But it lifts the... Um, the lamp off up off the surface so that um, if you wanted to do pedicures or maybe even high enough to do gel X nails you could and then it's really really spacious you guys like you can get some really long nails in here and then this here again is how the base goes on so it just snaps oh let me put the legs down here and then it just snaps on like so love it pretty strong magnet too love that okay and then yeah, y'all, let's turn this bad boy. Well, again, let me see. It's going to be hard to see the kickstand feature of it. But again, it just kind of lifts it up off the surface, which is cool because you can kind of go in if you're doing Gel-X nails and put your nail underneath her, which I think is a nice feature. But yeah, y'all, let's go ahead and get, get her turned on. It's just, isn't it beautiful, though? I just, I'm here for the glory of how cute this is. Okay, um, so yeah, turn it on. And... This is the display. I'm going to turn my my lamp lamp down. I feel like I have a hard time showing the screen. So let's see. Can you all see the display? I think you can see the display a little bit better now. So um, this is what it looks like. Um, look at me. I'm looking for the buttons. The button is here. So this is how you change. Oh, that's cool. So I guess that's the 120 second mode. And this is the 90 second mode. 
60 second mode and then 30 second mode. I'm guessing that this here is where it needs to line up so that you can know what mode you're in. It looks like the battery is pretty much charged and I think you have the option. I wonder if you can turn the sound off. It has a little sound thingy here. It makes me think that you can turn the sound off. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, you can. Look at that. So when you hold the knob down, it turns the yeah, it turns off the sound and when you hold it down again, look at that, it turns it back on. So you have the option of whether or not you want it on or off, but yeah, so this is how you turn it on. So it is motion sensor, so if you wanted to, you put your hand in, it turns the lamp on, take your hand out. And y'all, when I say this thing is spacious, wow, it's very, very spacious, very comfortable to put your hand in. And how cute is this gonna look on the nail desk? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. Um, so again, it has 30 seconds. 60 seconds, 90 seconds, and 120 seconds. And um, if you want, you can turn the lamp off by pressing the knob, turn it back on, okay? Okay, let's turn it on here. And what's cool too is as the nails are curing, this little LED light, it changes colors. Like how cool is that? I like that a lot. So yeah, as it's curing, it just changes colors. That's a cool little feature. I don't think I've seen any lamps like that. This is just a really cool, sleek design lamp, okay? Um, and so, again, this is what it looks like bright. I don't like to blind you guys. And then this is what it looks like on the low heat mode. Okay, so this is it on the low heat mode. And this is the regular 54 watt. So you all could tell the difference in the brightness there. Um, so yeah, I love the design of this. I'm gonna go ahead and cure some gel polishes here. Um, Y'all know I like to try to cure a black polish to see how good the lamp really is, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off really quick. I'm just gonna swatch. Um, actually, I'm just gonna swatch a really deep blue color that I have. I'm gonna swatch this really quick. And I try to swatch something that's a little bit deeper so that we can see if it's good at curing um, polishes that are really opaque. So uh, one of my subscribers recommended I do that when I try out new lamps and I thought that was a great idea. So this polish is ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here for 60 seconds. There we go. And we'll just let it cure. Alrighty, so this is what the polish is looking like after it's cured. I'm gonna touch it. And yeah, it looks like it cured beautifully. I'm gonna go ahead and do a second coat. I'm gonna cure for another 60 seconds to turn it on again. I'm just gonna press the lamp. Oh no, that's not how it works. Oh, that's weird though. Oh. Okay, so that's something I don't like. So if I wanted to just turn the lamp on to cure, it remembers the last setting that you have, but like you can't just press it to turn it on again. You kind of have to twist the knob, which is kind of annoying. Okay, so now I can go. All right, so I'm gonna cure it for 60. Alrighty, so this is what the second coat of polish is looking like. Again, looks like it has cured beautifully. Very, very nice. So now I'm gonna top coat it and then I'll let you guys know how that performed. I'm gonna cure for 60. Yeah, your hair come hold on, baby. Okay, here I come. My new water. I want new water. There's a water right there. You see? You see? You see the water? You see the water? Alrighty, so this is what the top coat is looking like after it's cured. And yeah, y'all, it's good. It's fully, fully cured. Yep, this is a good lamp. I like the fact that it cures well. 
the only thing I don't okay so what I like about the lamp love I love the design I love that it's cordless wireless the bling is everything I love these kickstands with this kickstand right I love this option because if you wanted to you could actually do uh, gel X nails with it so you'll put your full cover tip on and then you can put your nail inside the lamp and then you can actually cure it into place so I think that's a really cool option that you could use with this lamp so yeah that's something else to keep in mind too it's kind of multi-purpose i love that it has a metal base which really gives the option for it to fully cure from all different angles because of the reflection so the only thing that i'm not liking about the lamp though is this knob um i don't like the fact that you cannot turn it back on when you press the button so it's like if i want say if i wanted to just cure like some swatches or something like that and i pressed it I can't get it to turn on. The only way I can get it to turn on is by twisting the knob. That's an inconvenience for me. But I think that if you're using this maybe in like a salon setting or if you have it at your nail desk and you're using it to just cure your hands, I think it could be helpful because really you're just going to be taking your hands in, putting it out. So that's a okay. I don't know. It could work. It just depends on what you're needing it for. But at the $32 price point, I'm very happy that I have this. And I think I'm going to be trying to use this as my travel lamp. So you guys know I do press on nails and um, I've been traveling lately to help people apply their press on nails. And so I wanted a lamp that I could take with me that had a small footprint, but that was also cordless and rechargeable. And I think this fit the bill y'all. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the review. Let me know your thoughts on the lamp. Do you guys think you're going to try it out? What do you guys think about this knob feature? It's different. It's unique. Um, again, I just wish that the pressing it would turn it on and off, but it doesn't. If you all want to see more reviews like like this i've been on a nail lamp kick lately i have another lamp and i have another nail lamp that i just got in i'm going to re be reviewing that shortly um and i just yeah i'm just really enjoying nail lamps right now but uh yeah i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope y'all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye